Hey guys, welcome to Celebrity Chat Fest where we talk celebrity and entertainment news. Let's get into it. Days leading up to the premiere of the biopic Wendy Williams' What a Mess, Wendy revealed to Power 105.1's DJ Sess One that she had sexual relations with Method Man. Now, let's play this clip right here. You know, rocked my shoulders, you know how I do. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. And I said, um, I said, you know, you want to come over? And he said, yeah, I'll follow you. And I said, give me your hand. And I grabbed his hand and and he, he put his head down and I put my head down and people didn't even realize at the time it was Wendy and one of the biggest stars, the lead of, of the leader of the biggest group in the world mm -hmm. just left, got in her pathfinder and went back to her penthouse in Jersey wow. City where she bathed him in her jacuzzi tub. Wow. And and smoked more um, weed. You know that was back in the coke days. I don't remember what he did. I'm not going to implicate him on that. Um, um, I did give. I don't him know if I'm asking too much, but you know, was it? Did you guys go all the way? Yeah. All right. So now, after that revelation became a trending topic on social media, Method Man's wife Tamika took a slight dig at Wendy on Instagram, and I'll pull it up right here. LOL, LOL, LOL. Can someone get the delusional old lady some help quick, fast? And Tamika had more to get off her chest following the airing of the biopic, taken to Instagram on Monday with the following, quote, For years, I kept my silence while Wendy Williams launched constant verbal attacks against my husband, myself, and our family. In the past, I ignored her lies, innuendos, and blatant attempts to provoke us. But Wendy has proven again and again that she is incapable of any decency. Her obsession with our lives has reached a new low, and I'm tired of taking the high road. In an obvious attempt to increase ratings for her sad biopic, her struggling TV show, and her burnt-out career, Wendy has once again targeted my husband. It's a pattern that she has repeated for years. When I was diagnosed with cancer years ago, Wendy shared my personal medical information with her listeners live on the air during her radio broadcast. She didn't care that she was violating my right to privacy or, the, or that I hadn't shared the news of my diagnosis with my family and friends yet. She never apologized, never expressed any regret whatsoever. Despite my anger, I chose not to respond publicly to her unhealthy fixation with my husband and our marriage. It was clear that she was sick and that she was struggling with a lot of issues including self-hate including self -hate and low self-esteem. Over the years, those issues have made her increasingly ugly both inside and out. And no amount of plastic surgery can fix the ugliness inside of her. Instead of using her platform to uplift women, she has spent her career attacking marriages while her own fell apart. She criticized celebrities battling addictions despite her own struggles with substance abuse. There's no limit to how low she will go in the name of making headlines. Her career is on life support, her husband has abandoned her, and the ratings for all of her projects are down. She's desperate for attention and is trying to use my husband's popularity as a way to get her name trending. How sad that a woman who was once revered in the entertainment industry has reduced herself to a tabloid side note and circus freak. For the record, my marriage is solid, my husband continues to enjoy a successful career, and Wendy will forever be one of the most miserable on the planet. All right, so there's no other way to slice it. Wendy was totally out of line for revealing such personal information. And, you know, miss me with the, oh, that's Wendy's job. Oh, she's supposed to report the news. Nah, nah. It's not Wendy's job to report that a private citizen has cancer. It's just not. Operative word here, private. Since Tamika is not, she is not a celebrity. She was sick. Is she all right now? I like to thank Wendy Williams for bringing that to the masses because she didn't have to go on the radio and say that shit. I like to keep stuff like that private, but yeah, she was sick. But everything's all right now. All right. Better than all what right. it was. Well, then that's what's well, up, man. That's what's up. better than what it was. That's what's up, man. I know a lot of us go through it, you know what I mean? I'll be feeling like, yo, that ain't nobody fucking business right there, though. That's the, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it and shit. That's her business. She didn't want anybody to know about it. 
You know what I'm saying? And I respected her wishes right there. So for the media to bring that and put that shit out there like that, I think that shit is mad tacky and disrespectful. Yeah, well, you know what? We won't even run that, man. So don't even worry. No, about y'all can run that. I want that to be. I want that to be ran. I'm talking about as far as the way it was done in the beginning, because she's she's past all that now. But when okay. it was going on and all that, and people, it was done by. I'm gonna give you. A, Wendy Williams did it. All right, her. She's the one that did it. You can attack me any way you want to. I'm in the entertainment business, but you don't attack my family, man. My wife ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Had all nothing to do with that. You did not have to do that. Her family members didn't even know she was sick. We still live in our same community where we used to live at. The people that lived around us didn't know she was sick, too. You said that shit. Everybody looking at her, staring at her. You know how uncomfortable that makes somebody feel, especially somebody that's going through chemo? Stupid ass bitch. Bad enough she didn't have her hair on her head. You think she wants people staring at her, pointing at her, talking about how sick she is? Nobody knew anything until Wendy Williams said that shit. She hasn't won a lot of fans, man. She doesn't have any fans, and the nah, people that listen to her are just as fucking dumb. Because the bitch is an idiot, man. She's a fucking idiot, man. It's like, she can say whatever she want to say about me. I never call up there for shit. She can say whatever she want to say. But you don't attack my fucking family, man. You got to be out your fucking mind, lady. For real, you got to be out your motherfucking mind, man. I ain't no regular okie dope nigga, man. I ain't no insane Justin Timberlake ass nigga, man. Come from Park Hill, Staten Island, Park Hill, nigga. You've been on my block. You know where. You know where I'm from. You've been on my block. These fucking little niggas around there. Think I don't know? Snipping blow, sucking these niggas off and shit. I know. Have you want to do it, Wendy? But me, I'm not gonna do it verbally. I'm not gonna come on your little show and try and bark on you and shit like that. Nah, man. I'm a street nigga. You see me? Now we should add. I didn't see a refutation in Method Man's wife statement, so. It's safe to assume that Method did in fact sleep with Wendy. I did see some comments online that expressed disbelief, comments that suggested Meth is out of Wendy's league in the looks department. And in my opinion, Wendy isn't an ugly woman um, then and now. And Wendy is extremely, extremely, and was ambitious. That's an attractive trait to some people. So, And Tamika does have a point considering that Method wasn't in the biopic, um, nor was he discussed in the documentary. So she, it does look like she used that tidbit of information to have people tune in, right? You need eyes, and Wendy knows exactly, exactly how to play the game. Method Man, right, like I said, wasn't mentioned in the documentary or the biopic, but rapper Eric B was. And let's just say... He, he isn't too happy with his portrayal. Now, for those who did not tune in on Saturday night, Eric B. from the hip-hop duo Eric B. and Rakim dated Wendy, and he wasn't the best catch, to say the least. He was apparently a taken Dusty <laughs> who mooched off of Wendy using her car. He ended up impregnating Wendy, and she aborted their child, and she moved on from that relationship or a situation or whatever you want to call it. Eric B. being a Dusty, he's saying no. No, no, no. Incorrect. I'm going to pull up his post right here. So here you see him in front. This is like an old school, back in the day type of photo. Assuming around that era that he messed with or dated or what have you, Wendy Williams. And he tagged it, damn, I need a rental. Because he didn't have his own car in the film. He needed Wendy's. And he captured it. Too hilarious. I laughed too well. It made for great TV. But the truth is something different. Try that. This documentary, perhaps there was some embellishments in there, right? But this is Wendy's life. But what I didn't care for about the biopic is I think it focused too much on her male relationships, right? Particularly her marriage to Kevin. And I think it did take away from Wendy as a career woman, right? Um. Also... From outside looking in, right? We don't know how her life is when the cameras aren't rolling. But outside looking in, Wendy appears very, very lonely. Um, so Tamika may have a point there. Perhaps Wendy is miserable. Um, yes, yeah, she's an uber, uber successful. She has all the money a person can have. But there's something underlying there that Wendy isn't happy. Um, I don't know if it's the breakdown of her relationship. Perhaps it's like her childhood... Um, 
things that happened in her childhood, you know, with her weight and things of that sort. And she seems to be, she seems to be hurting a lot. And, you know, mental health is a real thing. So hopefully there are people that are around Wendy giving her love and support. I don't know if she's in therapy. That will be a good look for her as well. Anyways, um, let's get in the comment section and let's discuss it. Did you watch the biopic and the documentary? What are your thoughts on that? Um, let's just have a great conversation down below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Until the next one, bye.